Bristol Stadium, Greyhounds. Check out well done there, innit? Hi, you must be Colin. Yes, I am. Yeah, brilliant. How are you? you must be the guy who's going to show us around. Well, I'm going to show you around. You want to see the greyhounds in action? We'll start first. Brilliant. Well, You're a man. Let's go for it. <laughs> so, Colin, is uh, greyhound racing a spectator sport? It's purely a spectator sport, although there's a lot of betting generated on it, of course. It's like roulette on legs. Uh, it's the second most spectator sport in the country after association football and there's half a million people per year go greyhound racing than horse racing. You told me earlier on this gets transmitted in countries outside of England and yes. Europe and like the Netherlands. Well, I think we should say Great Britain. We should say yeah, it goes outside Great Britain. Britain. Yeah. Um, we have the SIS system, Satellite Information Services, which are sending the movie live pictures through into every betting shop in the country. It's all going to bet on how much sort of money gets sort of put through, you know, is there yeah, a lot we, of money at stake? There is a lot of money. If we're the only betting medium when in the winter time horse racing is pulled off through frozen tracks or flooded tracks, not that we'll see much flood today, um, we could have £10 million pounds a race riding on our results. It's quite a lot of money. It's quite a few shillings. It's better than the... Uh, what money we've got? Well, I don't know. I, I, well, I can say speak for myself. Is there what? any other sort of um, dog races? Like I've heard of yeah, Afghan yeah, sort of dogs. Afghan and racing. Or is yeah, greyhound racing the main? Greyhound sport? racing is the only betting medium. Afghan is purely a sport. Let's uh, go and check out some of these beautiful dogs then. Yes, be glad to. Come Brilliant. See them. Brilliant. Right, Colin, so could you uh, explain to us, uh, the viewers, what actually goes on? Like step one when the dog is out of the... Well, step van? one, uh, the greyhounds turn up in their specially uh, adapted vehicles and they park in the car park. And they are brought to Checkpoint Charlie. That's the first check we have on the identity of the greyhound. They are then checked and they are given a bowl. And the bowl is for a urine sample. The dog then goes out onto the grass, it gives a urine sample. It's a little wee wee on the old that's rover's right, pitch. Right. Well, it's not the rover's pitch well. anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> but that's a long, long story. Yeah, that's another story. We're going to tell there. The greyhound leaves that area, goes to the weighing area. In the weighing area, I usually uh, check the earmarks of the greyhounds again. It goes onto the scales. If it's within a kilo of its last racing weight, it passes from me. It then goes to the veterinary surgeon, the veterinary surgeon checks it, it then goes and is locked away in a kennel. Can you tell me what um, an average age of a greyhound, what, what age do they start training? We start them when they're round about puppies, start their schooling, anything from about 11 months to 13, give or take to the trainer's ideas, you know. What's then they go to a schooling track, or we can bring them here to our own stadium. What sort of methods do you use to train the, the greyhounds to run on a track like this? Um, basically, by instinct, if, they, if it's there, they'll watch and they'll take off and they'll go. Some are difficult and they have to be schooled and kept going and the schooling tracks do their job. Some are a bit more lively than uh, another is lively for everyone. How much, is a, how much would a greyhound cost, like a, like a really fast sort of greyhound if it wins a lot of races and stuff? Oh. It'd be worth a lot of money. Yes, you can. Uh, you can go from three thousand. You could go to twenty. You could go to thirty. It's a lot of money. I think I'll stick with my little mongrel from Battersea Dogs. So yeah, that's brilliant. Thanks a lot. Wow. We're down here on a track now. We've seen the dogs. We've seen what goes on behind the scenes. We chat to Colin, uh, the trainers, what have you. Now we want to see some action, dude. <laughs> I really like that insert because I liked it when I found out how young greyhounds are when they first start to train them. And I liked it because I found out how much a fast greyhound costs. 
But I especially liked it because there was a little story along with it with the other little dog. So overall... Don't mark it, would you believe? 